Hello everyone. In this introduction to C-sharp video, we are going to take a look at namespace declaration. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So up until now, we have created a script, we have discussed a class, and we've also discussed simple methods. Let's talk about something called namespace. What is a namespace? In its simplest terms, the way to describe what a namespace does is a way of your c -sharp script being able to reference a library to basically pull information from, help it recognize what you're typing and what you want your script to do. So, for example, we can use a namespace within the AI region if we were to code something to do with artificial intelligence. We could also use a namespace if we wanted to change scenes, for example. So basically what would happen there is you would have a line of code which would need to reference something extra for it to recognize that you are trying to move from one scene to another. We could also use this in the same instance for something like UI, which is basically on-screen imagery. So let's use that as the example in this video. At the top, this is where our namespace declaration comes. And you can see by default, there is already a couple in there. These are required as standard to help the script understand what it needs to do. These are essential when it comes to Unity c -sharp coding. If these are not here, the script will not recognize that it is working with, for example, the Unity engine in this case. So to add an extra namespace here, we use the same kind of terminology that is already there for us by default. So we would put using, and then we have to tell it what that namespace library in quotes is. So in this case, we would say Unity engine.ui. Now, the good thing about this, if we put a semicolon there, the good thing about this is that with Visual Studio, it will try and predict what you are trying to do, and it will give you a drop down menu. You may have noticed there when we started typing this namespace, after we put the dot, we can see the various different options that we have here. All of these are something that you can declare. So, for example, if we want to deal with UI, it is there. I said AI earlier, and it is there. So, just placing that there. And remember to always end with a semicolon there. So that's how you declare any given namespace to help your script recognize where it has to pull information from. So next video in this series, we are going to take a look at variable declaration, which again is slightly different from the namespace declaration. I hope to see you in that next video and I appreciate you watching.